Um, yeah. Very nice to see you all uh, today. And hello also to our uh, online audience. Um, welcome to this panel presenting uh, a new report uh, from the Overseas Development Institute and the Global <coughs> Facility for Disaster Reduction and Recovery uh, on financing disaster risk reduction, the 20-year story of international aid. I'm uh, delighted today to uh, welcome in front of you a, an esteemed panel. Um, uh, I just want to run through who they are and where they come from, and then just talk just very briefly about the kind of the running order to today, for today. So, firstly, you will you will see uh, Jan Kellett, senior research advisor here at ODI, who will present the findings of the report to you. Um, many of you will have seen on your way in that there's a, a kind of a quick uh, summary. Uh, sheet of the findings of the report. If you do want a full uh, copy of the report, there are, they will be available on, on the way out by reception. Um, after Jan has presented about 25 minutes of presentation, uh, uh, we will hear from Francis Gasquier, uh, head of the GFDRR Secretariat at the World Bank, uh, and then move on to uh, Mohamedou Diko Ladan, the Honorary Consul for the Republic of Niger, we're delighted to have today, uh, and then to Saleh Said, the head of the Disasters Emergencies Committee, who I'm sure many of you will have seen appearing on the Channel 4 documentary recently on the Disasters Emergency Committee, a, a very, very good uh, uh, profile of their work. Um, and so then we'll have plenty of time for, for questions uh, after that. Um, when we have questions, it would be really good if you could uh, say your name, uh, and uh, keep the questions short uh, for the benefit of our online audience. And I shall also be taking questions from the online audience um, uh, that magically go, get directly beamed to the iPad in front of me. So uh, hopefully we'll work very smoothly. Um, and uh, just, just by a couple of uh, words of introduction here, I think uh, the, the team focused on this report, you know, I need to give them uh, great kudos. It's certainly... Uh, an awful lot of data to sift through, much of it manually, much of it uh, uh, going through line by line, code by code, many hundreds of thousands of, of lines of data, um, which in some ways is also symptomatic of some of the problems we have in tracking DRR data, that you have to go through that kind of, that kind of uh, uh, method to kind of come up with these figures. Um, but uh, certainly this, this report uh, has benefited from Jan and Aliche and and uh, Hemang and others at the World Bank's uh, dedication to, to putting this data set together. Uh, and certainly something that I think can serve as a baseline for us, for us all in a disaster risk reduction community and a climate change adaptation community as we enter into a really uh, interesting and intense period through to 2015 and beyond. Um, so uh, I realize I didn't introduce myself. I'm Tom Mitchell. I head the climate change program here at ODI. Uh, and uh, without further ado, I will pass over to uh, Jan, who will take you through the key findings of the report. 